And with the fifth selection, the Birmingham Iron are picking Luis Perez. Luis Perez, the winner of the Harlan Hill Award, the best player in Division II, did not play a down of high school football. You know, you see the consistent work ethic. A couple times he, he kind of pissed me off because he beat me into the office. He's already in there studying tape. I'm like, what the heck are you doing in here already, man? And it's more than a story, like you said. This guy has passing DNA. He can get it anywhere he wants in the football field. We both loved his tape. Obviously, the Sean McVay endorsement probably meant a lot. <laughs> this guy this guy has a lot of talent. He won the 2017 Harlan Hill Award, which is the Division II version of the Heisman Trophy. Perez. <laughs> Caught, touchdown! 44-7. Yeah, you can't be at 45% of the time. Now shot down the right sideline. Oh, did! <laughs> Perez takes a shot. Got it! Catch me! Right between the hash marks. We're in two down territory here. We have an opportunity here to go to two downs here. So I expect him to try to get part of this back right here. Well, he escapes. Perez on the move. Perez lets it fly toward the end zone. Oh, and it's dropped. Six on the board. Well, here, I mean, he's in the grabs, coach. And as a defensive lineman, you want to finish. But great job keeping your eyes downfield. Perez finding his receiver, trying to get him the ball. As the receiver, hits you in the chest. You can't let the ball beat you up. No. Ooh, yeah, and their win against Salt Lake. Big one here. Stepping up Perez. Nobody open. Checks on. Still nobody open. Now flicks it. Finds the open man. Perez taking a shot. Got it. Got it. Catches me. So he gets stuck in a first down. You see there at the half yard line. But Perez wants a touchdown. Look at this ball. This is us or nobody. That's what you want. Outside receivers to get back in this game. All right. Here goes Perez in the Birmingham Iron offense. They take a shot. Perez from the about this pass is throwing conviction. Move him out of the oh, way. Yeah. yeah. They were quick to that. <laughs> Perez. Flagged down back behind the play. Catches. Made up. That Perez throws this ball in the anticipation in which he throws it. Yeah. Unbelievable job of. Second and ten now. Another passing down for the iron. Left sideline. This one bounces off the hands the game is consistency. Uh, I had a, I had my, my good friend Anton. JD, you don't want to have your quarterback's helmet looking like that. <laughs> Rez back uh -oh. to pass again. Quick trigger, left sideline, caught! Downfield! Perez makes the throw, the catch is made, and they've got the first down. Really thought Brayton Bowman had some nice skill. Good route runner, and you see that? What a pass from Perez. He gets right over the dropping safety. Normally they're guy yeah. back there. <laughs> Perez over the middle, open man. Catch made by Washington. First down for a big play. 34 yard pickup of Felton. Here Perez stands in, open man at the 25. And he hit it down the middle of the field. 
you can see the little the double route by the inside guy. And sooner or later, he's going to take that shot. And there it is. 52-11 with his 13-53. Perez back to throw again, has a man open in the middle of the field. Front. David D made that last play on Richardson. Perez puts it up, open man, and this. He was under tremendous pressure, cannot step into his throw, and waits until the last moment. The advantage on the outside, Perez found him in stride. A play action, now going left side, man has a step call. And of six on third down, the iron. Perez. Again under duress, rolls to his left, puts it up, has a man wide open. Excellent job across the board in getting ready to play this game. Oh, oh, got about it, Perez taking a shot, blowing up, and Richardson made! Great play is Felton! Richardson with two touchdowns last week, both coming in the fourth quarter. Play action, Perez fires on the money. Memphis takes a sixth. On third down, Perez. Stands up, throws, complete. Bowman wins this evening. Perez, this time, completes it. He's going to run a, a, a wheel curl and curls up and catches the ball. Great job. On a third and ten. Pressure comes. Pushes downfield, completes the pass. Woo! They're going to bring a blitz off the edge and no one picks it up. And he has to make this throw with pressure in his face. And you're throwing this blindly. You're just throwing it to a spot now and hoping that the receiver is able to catch it. But once the receiver catches it, it's all it's all him after that. You got guys falling down and hey. He does a nice job. He throws a catchable football. It's an accurate throw, catchable football. Oh, 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 oh. Perez. Perez. From the 25, Perez stands in, flings it, open man, catch made. Play action, and going to have to move to his right. No flags. Goes right sideline, has a man. Pass it away for Perez. To the end zone, high cross, he's got it, touchdown iron. Last August, I came on this very show and I introduced America to a name, Luis Perez. Our guy. Yes. Luis Perez's story is fascinating. This is a guy who didn't play much high school football, showed up at the University of Texas A&M Commerce and was the eighth quarterback on the depth chart and eventually got the starting gig and was a Division II Player of the Year. But before that, as a kid, Luis Perez was one of the greatest bowlers, not pro bowlers, Yes. bowlers gotcha. in the entire country. As an amateur, he bowled 12 Perfect games. Well. Not one, not two, 12 it. perfect games. One of the greatest bowlers as a youth, and now he's on the Birmingham Iron as their quarterback. I love it. I, Nate and I had the honor to do the preseason games for the Rams this year, and we would speak to Luis Perez pregame. And there may be no cooler more, or nicer, more excited guy to be playing football for a living than Luis Perez. And yet, this is not just icing on the cake. He wants to be a pro quarterback. And I know Zach Taylor very well, who was the quarterback's coach with the Rams. I know Sean McVay very well, who's the head coach of the Rams. They loved Luis Perez. Not only his arm talent, his demeanor, his leadership, his story. So if you're watching these games, this was the eighth quarterback at the University of Texas A&M Commerce when he showed up and went on to be the starter and the... Co the eighth string. Eighth string. I didn't even know eighth string was a Division thing. Division II Player of the Year broke all sorts of records. Rams really liked him. He's now playing for the Birmingham Iron. There's a story. And if you're a fan of the pins... Yeah, who isn't? Who doesn't love the pins? <laughs> Earl McCracken. This is the guy. Big Earn. Earn Earl. I don't Ernie, know. Ernie, it's fine. Ernie, it's Big Earn. Yeah. Big Earn. Roy That's Munson. Roy Munson. Exactly right. The hair.